Good evening everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84. Um, I had to pop into work today and I've come home and it's a nice uh, nice dry evening. I think we're going to get rain for a few days, so I just thought I'd do a quick, um, quick spring update or post-winter update on my uh, rose apple plant. Um, this is one that I got, uh, I think I got this one last year if I remember rightly. And this is Sizigium... Uh, if that's pronounced like that, jambos, which is a uh, rose apple, um, so known as uh, I think uh, have their various other names as well. Wax jambu, I think it's called. Now this one came from Canarius in um, in the Canary Islands. Now it's done reasonably well over winter. Um, I haven't had too many problems with this inside. It seems to cope with the dry atmosphere quite well sent out a couple of flushes of sent out a couple of flushes of leaves just a couple of new leaves in winter and as you can see there's a new uh so it's a bit breeze today there's a new leaf coming out there and it's got some shoots lower down as well so this is uh, doing quite well. I just found one I bought it out of the kitchen just to take this video a few uh, mealy bugs on it. Um, I'm going to check before I leave it outside for the summer what the roots ball is like to see if it needs repotting. But as I said this one seems to have done quite well. I haven't had any real problems with it over winter. And as a comparison, these I featured a couple of weeks ago my wax apple seedlings. Now this is Sizigium. Samaran Gents, I think it is. I'll put it on the video. I think the name, wax apple, Java apple. Um, these are more of a pear-shaped sort of pinky red fruit, whereas the rose apple tends to be a sort of more of an oval-shaped cream cream fruit. Now these are the two that I grew from seed. I suppose about probably about five or six months ago, and you can actually see that the leaves are relatively similar in appearance and in appearance and I'm guessing that the plant will end up being quite similar as well but um let's see if I can stand that up that's doing quite well I'm going to repot those another week or two put them there's two in here so I'm going to put them in two separate uh, two separate pots but I'm quite pleased because the um, the rose apple seems to have done quite well over winter I said apart from as you can see some of the leaf ends are a little bit brown now that could be the dry atmosphere or that could be due to salts in the water where I've had to water it at times with tap water but I don't see it being too much of a problem and these are actually reasonably tough they'll probably take temperatures down to about five degrees centigrade so about uh, probably take probably somewhere around 40 Fahrenheit I mean they might take a light frost when they're bigger but not yet but I thought for anyone who's interested like to see how that's done over winter that's my rose apple hoping for some decent growth this summer should put on six to eight inches thank you everybody for watching um, by all means please to uh, like the video you're welcome to share it with anyone you think might be interested please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and obviously if you click the bell you'll be notified of future videos including updates on this during the summer catch up with your next video brett out for now